Okay, this is on the uh, new Persa i3 MK2. I found that at little or no cost, you can add uh, two flanged ball bearings to the filament holder to get just the smoothest filament feed you've ever ever seen. And basically, I had an old wheelbarrow wheel sitting out in the shop, so I knocked the flange bearings out of the wheel because the wheel itself wasn't worth anything. And I found that the center fits exactly. I mean, it just snug presses on there. No slop, not going to fall off right onto his holders. So then when you snap your, your filament in, it has a ridge to write on, and you've got two bearing surfaces. And even if you use something with a smaller diameter hole, they usually have an inset. You can just pop them right in there, and they glide around like crazy. So the next thing I wanted to try was, well, maybe I want to keep... Uh, two rolls of filament on there or something. So I decided, well, what if I spread those out? I took a piece of uh, PVC pipe, painted it black to match my Persa, and just a little bit of Dremel work in there and found that the bearings would just press right, press right in. Maybe I can press this one on a machine. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, just like that. And just like that. And then I have this long bearing where I could keep two rolls of the most current colors that I'm using sitting up on the machine instead of the dragging and binding that you normally have that uh, just glide turns. It's just really nice. And uh, I'm currently still using the gray that came with the machine down here. And I try to put it on there, but I don't know if I can do it with one hand. I can try though. Never opposed to trying. Worst thing will happen is I'll break the filament. And that's no big deal, I guess. I know what we can do. Let's just set the camera down here for a second. Have no idea what image, if any, you guys are getting. So you can see how it can sit up there. I got it sitting in the middle, but if you had two rolls, it could sit to one side or the other. But now instead of dragging and thumping around, the whole the whole roll just turns. It's just uh, really smooth. It doesn't add any drag or friction to anything. And even if you didn't have an old wheelbarrow to knock the bearing out of, uh, I looked online on eBay and saw those little flanged bearings are for sale for anywhere from two bucks a piece up to ten bucks a piece, depending on whose auction you look at and I'm sure you can get them at your local hardware store. Here in America that's got a the bearing has an inside hole diameter of three quarters of an inch so somewhere around 18 millimeters or so if you're somewhere else in the world. Anyway thought it was just a useful little tip.